What's up, Bender fam? Super stoked to have the new Waterport Weekender. This is a brand new eight gallon tank, and today we'll be installing it on our 4Runner with custom Unistrut mounts. I'll show you how to do it. We've been using Waterport for years. This is the four gallon day tank that we've been using and love, but gotta say we're super excited to have eight gallons now. So if you've seen any of my other DIY videos or the roof rack video, you'll know that I love Unistrut. This stuff is like Legos for adults. It makes it super easy to custom mount anything. We'll be cutting a couple new crossbars to fit up here to mount the tank. So let's start measuring. If you're new to DIYing, you may or may not have one of these grinders or cutters. Uh, these Makita grinders, we got a two pack for like 90 bucks, My, or maybe a hundred, I don't remember, but um, surprisingly affordable. Also, if you're grinding, I wear glasses, but it's still, you know, it's good to have some proper protection on. You always want to deburr your cuts before really handling the metal. That way you don't uh, cut yourself or get any metal splinters. And it's best to have a, you know, a grinding wheel and a cutting wheel. You can do it with a cutting wheel, but this will do a lot better. We got our unit strut measured and cut, setting up here, ready to bolt in. We'll have them 10, and a half inches apart. And then our, uh, our water port weekender brackets can sit right on top of there. So we've got our T-nuts ready to go. We'll sit right in here. So we'll prep all these, finger tighten them first, cinch them down. And then we'll get our water port brackets up here. So we'll mock these up. I'm gonna measure. In from the outside of the crossbars, and these will be in the right spot. So let's go mount these up. Alright, got our mounting plate, our bolts and T-nuts. I'm going to measure. Slide our T-nuts in. Always use a washer when I'm doing this. Let's do the other side. Leave a comment below if you know what's next. If you said mount the water port, you were right. Before we put the tank on, you want to grab your bag of hardware. Make sure you're doing this right. You want to grab the washer that has a rubber side. Face the rubber side of the washer up towards the tank. That way, when it expands, it has room to slide back and forth. Looks like we're going to have to adjust those washers, but that's okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Help me, cameraman. All right, now we'll go inside, center this up, and uh, get those washers in the right place. Now grab your lock washer and washer. This side is all tightened up. It's important to note, after pressurizing the tank, you will want to double check these again. Make sure they're still tight. And in some of our testing, they loosened up after the tank pressurized. All right, there it is. New tank is bolted on. Let's fill it up. Water ports have a couple different ways of filling and pressurizing. You can take the cap off and fill it up with the hose through the top and then pressurize with the optional pump cap if you have it. They also all have a Schrader valve if you have onboard air or a compressor. 
The way I like to do it is just right here with the garden hose. All the pieces are included, your regulator. Put that on the hose. Grab your included 16 foot hose. And then you can plug this end in here. Turn it all on and start filling. The awesome part about filling it this way is that it will self pressurize with the garden hose. This regulator will squirt water out if you start to overpressurize. That way we don't damage the tank. There's also a pressure relief up here if the tank receives too much pressure. Keeps you safe. Look how long this hose is. <laughs> when it's getting close to being filled, you'll kind of feel, you can feel the water stop flowing. That stopped moving. We're good. We're pressurized. Let's turn all this off. Unplug it. Grab our nozzle and see what this thing can do. Shower. Woo! Look at that pressure. Jet. Whoa! Flat. A little spray. Center. Nice. Mist. Ooh. For a hot day. Back to shower. This thing is awesome. And if you've seen our other water port video, the original one, you'll know that I have to squirt the cameraman. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Needed it. Need a shower. <laughs> if you've got board, something to wash off here out in the desert, whatever it is, this is your your water. Oh! <laughs> it looks like you feed yourself. Steven, why did you be so? I got excited. Uh, my dad and Brandon are washing off the truck. From, oh, not quite. Hey, you got me. I got you. Sorry, I got you. <laughs> got to get the cameraman when you're doing a water port video. And that's how you custom out your new water port weekender. We'll be releasing a review video as well as a comparison to it versus the day tank soon. So stay tuned. And you know, water port makes a lot of different mounts. Uh, for different racks and applications, but if you're looking for a DIY method, this works great. This is solid, not going anywhere. Uh, also, we sell all the gear we use on our website. We only sell the gear that we love. Uh, so check the link in the description below for that. Thank you all again. Hit that like button. If you like the video, hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos as it's released and consider being part of the Bender fam by subscribing to our channel. Thank you all again. This is Dylan from Trailbenders Overland, out.